we're here today because the city of New Bedford has a strong interest in increasing the health and wellness of our population. Um, we uh, nowadays, 2014, really have to be uh, thoughtful about uh, healthy choices in our population, not just for the sake of health, but also for the sake of uh, saving money. Uh, there are uh, a whole uh, array of uh, health issues that uh, derive from unhealthy eating. And so we want our people to live a long time. We want uh, we don't want to overburden our health care system, and so one of the ways we go about that is uh, to good prevention. And, and more than anything else, eating right is at the heart of uh, preventing uh, health conditions that uh, uh, reduce the quality of life uh, over the long run and increase costs. Um, so through Mass in Motion, uh, New Bedford is working to decrease the number of residents who are overweight or obese. Uh, as well as to lower the prevalence of chronic disease associated with obesity among our population. Uh, mass in motion programs uh, encourage both adults and children to lead a healthy lifestyle and they focus on increasing physical activity and recreational uh, opportunities across uh, the city on a community-wide basis. Examples of these programs are, are many. They include the Safe Routes to School program, the Walk and Bike to School Day events, which we've done a number of over the the last couple of years, the Healthy Dining Program, and the Mass in Motion Kids Program. And in a few minutes, I'll ask Kim Ferreira, the Director of Mass in Motion, to come up and talk uh, in detail about uh, the program that we're about to describe uh, right now. But she's been involved very heavily in these other exercise programs and, uh, and nutritional programs. And yet, the, what we're rolling out today is another uh, quiver, uh, another arrow in our quiver to, uh, to deal with, uh, with obesity and, uh, and healthy living. Mass in Motion's kids program is especially important because it is aimed at decreasing uh, childhood obesity in the 2 to 12 year old range through five uh, independently uh, identifiable behaviors. Reducing sugary beverages, that's huge, soda, and, and I know Joe you, you guys sell a little bit of soda but maybe you just push that further into the back uh, now. To replace uh, high sugar and fat sodium foods with fruits and vegetables. Uh, to get one hour of physical activity, to reduce screen time to uh, two hours a day. I tell my kids personally that TV is junk food for the brain, but it's also in a way uh, junk food uh, in general in the sense that uh, uh, sitting around watching TV is, is not good for children's health, physical health. Uh, and to uh, get adequate sleep, and that counts for an awful lot. Now, today we are here at the butcher shop uh, on Dartmouth Street. A, great local institution at, um, and as if you haven't been to the butcher shop uh, before you haven't met uh, Joe Pinaretta uh, welcome this is a terrific place Joe will tell you firsthand that I am a, a frequent flyer here um, but we're also joined uh, by the owners of four other terrific uh, neighborhood markets in our city and these are all these places are great and I'm so we are so lucky that these days uh, when so much of food uh, and other retail has become uh, nationalized and we rely on chain stores for uh, much of uh, what we consume that we have in our city, five really terrific neighborhood groceries. And, and uh, they are, and they're all represented today, uh, they are Amaral's Fish Market, uh, DeMello's Market, Giamavo's Market, and Javier's uh, Market. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Amaral's and uh, uh, Javier's are in uh, the lower north end. Uh, DeMello's uh, is right uh, down here on Cove Street, and Giamavos is on, uh, on Purchase Street. Uh, they are all taking the lead today uh, to launch a new program in our city that is designed to improve healthy eating for everybody. And it's called the Healthy Market Initiative, which is a state program that encourages and supports local neighborhood market and convenience store owners to make healthy food and drink options available the customers to meet healthy market recommendations. That's a bit of a mouthful, but what it means is that these five markets are taking the lead in promoting uh, healthy eating and healthy nutrition, especially among uh, our children. How are they doing that? Uh, they uh, have volunteered to participate uh, in this program by, and in the program they're going to be featuring healthy dining, uh, healthy eating options, like stuff that you see right in front of you here. Uh, they will, uh, Mass in Motion will work with each of these store owners, each of the stores, uh, to make healthy food and drink options available and, and help them meet the healthy market recommendations, which, is, uh, which entails 
the offering of whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and low-fat dairy items. Uh, participation is easy, and in many cases, stores simply have to reorganize and, and more prominently feature healthy foods that they already carry. So uh, let, me, let me say this. This is, um, this is a terrific program, A, because of who's promoting it, the city, along with these five great neighborhood markets that everybody uh, who enjoys good food and healthy food should patronize. Um, and their owners uh, are here today. Uh, the butcher shop, uh, Joe Penaretta and his wife, uh, Maria and his son, Eric, are all here today. Uh, Amaral's Market, Alex um, Margulies is here. DeMello's Market, Kathy and Leslie uh, Mello are here. Giamavos, uh, Shirley Giamavos here. And uh, Xavier, uh, Javier's Market, uh, Rui Javier, are all here. Uh, and uh, again, these, these are folks that uh, they are the quintessential local businesses. They care about their neighborhoods. They care about their customers. They stand behind their product, and they're stepping up today because it's the right thing to do for the community and not just for their business. So uh, I'm very pleased that, uh, uh, that all of you have been willing uh, to do this. And uh, if I could just have, I know we're at a press conference, but just like a quick round of applause for each of these uh, <laughs> store proprietors who uh, are doing right by the veterans. And, and I hope, uh, I hope that uh, the larger chains uh, will see the wisdom in this approach uh, and follow suit. Now, with all that, uh, let me just uh, recognize uh, our health director, uh, Brenda Weiss, who's here, tucked in the back by uh, some of the soda. Brenda, stay away from that. <laughs> Uh, who Brenda is doing uh, has her hands in numerous health initiatives uh, across the city, ranging from uh, ranging from mental health issues to uh, to obesity and nutritional issues to um, uh, sanitation um, in our commercial establishments as well as our residential properties, and the list goes on and on and on. Uh, and uh, we're, we're lucky that uh, that Brenda has taken the lead in this area and so many others. Um, with all that, let me introduce. Um, Kim Ferreira, who is leading this particular program through Mass in Motion, which is uh, known uh, for uh, much of the exercise, many of the exercise programs that we have in the city, but this is a big nutritional program and it complements uh, those other programs. Kim, would you come on up? And I'll, uh, I'll adjourn to the wine cellar while you're speaking. <laughs> no, come on up. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you, Mayor Mitchell. Um, thank you everyone for coming today. Um, we are so excited to have the butcher shop host us today to officially launch our Healthy Market Initiative. Um, like Mayor Mitchell was saying, this is part of the Department of Public Health's initiative and we are launching our initiative today after several months of working with local corner store owners and trying to have healthier beverages and be healthier foods more readily available for our community, especially our youth. I'm sure many of you see our kids walking to and from school every day, going into corner stores, and typically they're leaving with very cheap, high processed, high sugary fat sodium foods. So it's our hope with this program to not only educate our youth and our family and our residents, but to also um, encourage them to make healthier lifestyle choices, healthier food choices when they're coming into corner stores. With the help of the Department of Public Health and the Health Department, thank you Dr. Wise, um, we were able to look for stores who were at least a half a mile from a larger supermarket. So stores that um, have um, a greater access for people to frequent on a much um, regular basis if they're not able to get to a larger supermarket. Um, we wanted these stores also to be in close proximity to schools, neighborhoods, and local businesses. So our Healthy Markets team, I'd like to recognize Janet Rose, Darlene Disma, Sarah Claremont, who's also part of the Mass Emotion team, and Stephanie Roos, who wasn't able to come. Um, they're all dietitians, and like I said, we've been working um, several months on this initiative, making um, frequent visits to the stores, working with the owners, um, educating them about the program, gaining their interest, um, working on how they can meet the program guidelines, and also ways that we can provide assistance along the way. So like 
Mayor Mitchell was saying, in order for a healthy market to sign on, they need to commit to offering items, as you see up here nicely displayed, items like whole grain cereals, brown rice, um, whole grain breads, beans, fresh fruits, frozen fruits and vegetables, um, healthy beverages like water and low fat milk and 100% juices, as well as healthy snacks that are low in sodium like nuts and fresh popcorn and again fruits and vegetables. The other piece of the program is not only that they're stocking these items but that they're making them readily accessible. So items that are clearly marked for consumers to to see and to purchase. Also placement. Having some of these healthier items in the front of the store. You know, you have a lot of these um, large companies who pay money to have their items right in the front where everyone can see them. And our hope is that we start to have some of these healthier items in the front so that customers can say, hey, wow, they do offer, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables that I can take on hand on my way to school. Um, we have been fortunate with the work and research project of the Mass in Motion Kids Project to provide some incentive items for our market so that they can begin displaying these healthy market options, such as, where are our bins? I can't see it, but you have these flags here, which they can put in the aisles where they sell fruits and vegetables. These price markers, which are fabulous because they pinpoint to the customer, wow, why is that sticker there? Because it's more of a healthy market option for you. So it really takes the guessing work out for the customer and they know that they're purchasing something healthy. We also have big bulletin boards. If you see right in the front as you're coming into the store, um, Jose is great at promoting all of the healthy items that he has um, on a weekly basis in the front of the store. There is a hopscotch board on the way to the fruits and vegetables in the, in the case over here. And then, like I mentioned, um, some bins that they can now store some of their fresh fruits and vegetables. They also receive, as part of the program, a healthy dining, a healthy market decal that they can put in their window. We have pamphlets um, available in English, Spanish, and Portuguese so that when customers come in and they see some of these changes, they have information available to them to learn about the program as well. Um, I want to, again, thank all of our markets. Please come up, all of you owners, come on up. I want you guys to be recognized. We applaud you for the wonderful work that you've been doing. Come on up. We have had such a great time working with you and getting to know you. Like Mayor Mitchell said, you're really taking the lead in this or in this initiative. Come on up. Thank you all. We really, really have enjoyed um, the last few months working with you and again taking the lead in this initiative to offer healthy items and helping to make our city a much healthier place. If any stores are interested in getting involved, they can um, visit our website, massinmotionnewbedford.org, or they can call us at the Office of Housing and Community Development at 508-979-1500. We, we are really looking forward to many more stores signing on and really you know, letting this momentum keep, keep moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thanks. Um, this is uh, what's great about this more than anything else is it's a it's an example of how big changes start um, with individual initiative and uh, I want to thank Kim for all of her hard work and again all the proprietors that uh, keep this mayor well fed I will add but also who are see see the uh, utility and uh, promoting healthier living uh, uh, in the neighborhoods where they do business. And again, it's another sign of just how much value uh, small businesses uh, like these bring to uh, the life of our city. So with that, if you have any questions, if you have any questions, we'd be, we'd be happy to field them. Anybody? Covered it all. <laughs> Everybody's staring at, uh, at the food right at this point. All right, uh, I, know, I know a lot of these businesses uh, a lot of these businesses will tell you also about the nutritional uh, benefits of uh, 
uh, red Portuguese wine, which is uh, <laughs> something else that uh, the mayor buys at, uh, at all these stores. So anyway, thank you uh, for coming today, and uh, we really appreciate the support of the program. Thanks. And don't forget, everyone, we have these great um, goodie bags or reusable shopping bags with some little goodies in them, a pamphlet about the program, um, a great little recipe book for um, families for, you know, making your local produce. It's almost garden season, so we encourage you to, to take a bag before you leave. Thank you very much for coming, everyone. Thank Hi everyone, I would like to spend a few minutes and just talk about the healthy launch which occurred a few days ago here in New Bedford. Um, with the help of the Mass in Motion Healthy New Bedford team, um, we have started a Healthy Markets initiative which really has started as part of the Department of Public Health, their statewide initiative on trying to work with local markets in helping to get more healthy items available to our community. So we have been spending quite a few months on the ground in the city working with local corner store owners and managers in getting them um, interested and in signing on to the Healthy Market Initiative. A little bit about the program is it's really geared towards markets trying to stock healthier items such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, healthy beverages like 100% juice, low-fat milk, and water. Not only are they committed to stocking these items, we are also working with these owners to make these items more visually um, available and try to get these items more to the front of the stores where customers see them and have a increased likelihood of purchasing them. So we may do things like bringing the fruits and vegetables in the front near the checkout or taking some of these healthy items and making what's called a healthy market zone. That's a great part of the project is that we can provide this assistance to stores who may not have the time to do that on their own. Another piece of this is with the help of our Mass in Motion Kids project. This is a project that's been going on in the city for the past two years and it's all geared towards reducing the incidence of childhood obesity in children 2 to 12 years old. With resources from this project, we've been able to provide stores with fabulous incentive items to again help deliver healthy messaging and promote the healthy market options that they're selling. We've been able to provide them with counter mats, um, specials boards, price tags which you see right here so that these items are clearly marked for consumers to buy and um, this has really been helpful for the store owners and for the customers to again easily identify healthier items and it makes the guessing work out for them. We've been able to provide them with some bins as well so they're able to stock larger items like potatoes and tomatoes and again have the ability to put them a little bit closer to the counter in the checkout. Um, this initiative has really gotten off the ground by the help of our Healthy Markets team. And we're really looking to working with more store owners in the future. So if you are a store owner interested in getting involved in this program, you can check out our website, massinmotionnewbedford.org, or you can contact myself at the Office of Housing and Community Development at 508-979-1500. Before I end, I'd like to bring the manager of Amaral's. This is where we're here today and get a little bit of information on why he joined the program. Oh, smile. Hello. Hi, Alex. How are you? Good, good. So I've had the pleasure of working with Alex over the last few months on getting him excited and involved in the program and yep. he was enthusiastically 
um, happy to sign on because he already does a lot of amazing work in the in his store to offer healthy items. But I was twisting my arm. Oh, I was twisting your arm. Okay. Shh. But if you want to share a little bit about why you thought this initiative was important and you know what made you decide to be a part of it. Well, I, I thought the program was a no-brainer because it, it kind of um, promotes what we already do and then it gives the customer, you know, options. Instead of having the junk foods or whatever, you can have oranges and tangerines and strawberries. And then if you want to have vegetables, we also have vegetables better than eating junk. So that's why we decided to go along with the program. And then you twist my arm. Oh. Lightly, very lightly. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Well, we're okay. happy that you are on board and really one of the five um, markets that are leading the way for the city. So we applaud the work that you're doing and continue to keep Thank rocking you. it. You keep doing a good yeah. job.